part of the American This is his first video as well. And he has shown me that this bullet Alright, blocking the fireballs. Ooh, nice counter from from blue with his jumping heavy. Now with Shin Walker, once she gets an open in, is combo city. But he needs to watch out though, because quick stuff Kokoa is strong as well once you get those grab moves going in. Nice down special. If you had you could have kept going. And here we go, the grab loops as I mentioned. As long as you have meter, you can keep this going on and on. It is like an infinite combo. And what's cool about it too, as you're doing it, you're gaining meter in the process. Nice down street from Kokoa. Going in with the air. Blue needs to watch out because a few more hits and he will be in stun. Alright, Blue is the victor of round one. Can Kamiko come back from this with her Kokoa? Nice flash. He cancel, oh, misses it. Now it's Blue's turn. Ooh, nice Phantom Break. Going in for Claw. Can he get the grab? Will it be enough for a reset? Jumps over, does a crossover with medium down M. This is a battle of Discord players as well. Blue gets caught up with the back special, lands the down special, and Blue takes game one. Alright, here we go. We are in game two. Round one. Alright, nice. Sound special. Alright. We have a set first. Does he fight to commit to it? Nice grab. Sends the meter. Resets. Grabs again. It seems fate has finally brought us together. What is this anomaly? This wasn't fate. This was the future you made. Again, Brad, we have enough meter to do it again. Ooh, gets caught with the down Phantom Breaker. Blue needs to watch out because his barrier is at red. All right, here we go again. Grab loot from Kokoa. That is like the Kamiko special, if I want to call it that. Ooh, nice grab from Blue. Getting those air combos in. Finishes off with an SP. But Kamiko answers back with a grab. That claw is powerful. Cosplay power. Alright, we're not gonna do 
those grab boosts that he needs a lot of meter for that. And Blue enters back with a down Shoryuken Phantom Breaker. Oh wow. Tension Max is at play right now, so if any of them do any type of attacks, it will double the damage. And also, since they're both playing, um, one's playing Amiya and one's playing Quick Style, their meters will gain quickly. Nice grab again. Again, those Coral Loops. That's something that Kamiko likes to do a lot in his game style. And Blue is answering back again those Shinbaka aerial combos. Misses the SP in the air, going in with those homing fireballs that they added in the recent update. Blue needs to watch out. He's in a couple of hits of hit stun. Jumping around trying to find their momentum and Blue found it. Throwing in those fireballs, those common missiles, I like to call it that. Nice SP cancel into the grab. He needs to watch out because every time he goes for that combo, Blue has meter and he's just gonna answer with a Phantom Break. Alright, Kamiko has almost two meters. All right, cancels. Oh, misses it. Answers back if he had meter with his own Phantom Break. Again, Blue needs to watch out and not get hit much because he could break. And Kamiko comes back and takes game two. The score is 1-1 right now. Alright, here we go. This is game three. One more advance to the finals, and one will be sent to losers. Blue is going in with the lead, getting those damage in. Nice dodge from Kamiko. into the grab, breaks Blue's guard, goes for another grab, can he reset, another grab, reset, I'm telling you, this is almost like an infinite, and oh, he learned from his mistakes, but he still gets hit by the downward Venom Breaker, oh, oh wow, I did not know it went to the other side, Again, cancels, grabs, goes in for the sub, nice grab, going in with another grab. Those claws look pretty sharp and you do not want to be in its range. Nice comeback from Blue, taking that tension max to the fullest, putting that damage in. Me 
Draco with a little bit of help. And Blue gets the round. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last match. Someone will advance and someone will be sent to losers. This is spicy. We need a little bit more habanero sauce, but we got this. Spicy habanero grabs. Another grab. Resets. As the meter. Can you reset again? They're actually both on red barrier, so someone will get stunned. Not sure who will be, who will throw out the the back to back, but it looks like Blue's in danger right now. And Blue answers with the down overhead Venom Breaker. Oh! Blue needs to watch out. And Kamiko takes it, sends Blue to losers. Congratulations, Kamiko, for your advancement. The God Claw, yes, the God Claw. What's up? Yeah, it happens. Uh. Yeah, so bigger contribution to that match was probably just Rick and my Garbar so much that I was close to stun, so it just happens. So now it's time for some losers matches, and for now we're going to have Mohoko Pineapple versus Con Man, I want to say. Rave Coon, okay, gotcha. It's going to be Rave Coon, but when it comes to the South side of things we can also see like a horror style and it's always dependent on the player for preferences like having that extra dash cancel having that extra meter all right nice and then we have pineapple from the artifactor our artifactor <laughs> no respect no. <laughs> yeah so uh heart heart style if you can, um, since that's the style we have it good on his end he does not want to get hit by Artifactor, especially Hardstyle Artifactor. There's a few Hardstyles that I've seen. Mainly a lot of the Japanese community uses Hardstyle, especially on some of their characters, but here in America it's always either Omnia or Hardstyle. I think just when it comes to the two reasons, it's just like America likes having them keep it. The movement is such a big factor in this game, and you can just outright just avoid situation. And that parry! That was a nice protection. So, yeah, uh, protection, also known as parry if you play other fighting games, that is unique just to hard style. While for Amina and Quick Style, they have to push them, which is like that little side dodge you saw exactly. in the previous match. No one tells stories better than Audible. It's the home of storytelling where you can find the biggest celebrities like you've never heard them before. Original thrillers that break new ground in audio entertainment and mysteries that'll keep you guessing and coming back for more. It's everything you love, from inspiring motivation and comedy to riveting true crime and memoirs. And that's just the beginning. Audiobooks, podcasts, and originals. That's Audible, the home of storytelling. Mythic Quest is way better off without them. My DNA is literally all over that thing. Gross. 
Y'all are all cray cray, but nay nay. <laughs> Got one thing when you're also in Omnia mode, if you have four meters, you will unleash an orb attack as oh, yeah. well. As well, yeah. So, in the other 2000 quick card, you have like your you know dedicated level two super. What we're about to see right now, oh, oh it misses. misses. Uh, 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 you know, I'd Okay, to leave. Try to go for a DP way too far. Then walk in there, stun. Going to catch out with the DP, not gonna do enough to kill, but going to have that tentacle really close by. Do enough? Yes, it will. Brave Kun stays alive. Ooh, and nice set first. Well, not set first, but nice uh, counter. But Blue's is answering back to the meter. He did it. Down to battle meter. And Blue's is charging. He is set on the fin play. No, we're not. We're saving that meter. Alright, not- Oh! Double dodge from Akari. Going in. Finish off with a rocket punch ender. Oh, tries to go with the hammer. Activates overdrive. Get that health back. So that's what Akuma does. He, he mainly activates overdrive to get his health back. His missing health back. And Blue got the conversion, just ending with the air combo. Oh, activates overdrive, gets that, those combos in, but what's it worth doing right now? Because Blue just answers back with his own Phantom Breaker and takes round two. Got missiles in play and fire missiles. Alright, we got tension max here. Nice, 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 nice overdrive, overdrive from Akuma. Ooh, they both hit, they both got cancelled out. Alright. Ooh, the air co aerial combos. Shooting up the missiles again, but gets grabbed. Putting it in the corner, but gets out of it. We got the drills coming in play. Nice heavy in the aerial or blue. Alright, back phantom breaker. And blue takes game one. Taking a deep breath. He knows that this is a stressful match. He is also in the loser's bracket. He needs to overcome this because, again, whoever wins advances and whoever loses will be sent home. That's how it feels like when Blue is fighting.
got caught. Wasn't able to confirm that. Was a little bit high. The girl got the hit. Going to do a. Got hit low. Going to be a full cast out. Here comes another one. Oh, couldn't get it, but did. What? Trying to think about it. There's a meter to work with. Doesn't hit. Must be enough. Don't see, don't see a chance for attention to come. Someone, so he'll be over here very soon. Thank you for tuning in. Combos got the drills coming in play. Nice heavy to uh, win the prize. Summer Rider fans, I'm probably gonna go with this. First, oh, if not, he's gonna get rid of that by blue staff. <laughs> No, he's not. Death winner finals. Death winner finals. This is winner finals. These guys need to leave. He's not in the tournament. That guy that's dancing, he's not in the tournament. The two cosplayers are. Yes, this is gonna, yes, this is gonna be a very interesting match because we have a really good Rebby player and we also have a Coca-Cola with quick style. Those grab moves, they're not infinite, but they look like they're infinite. What did you say? Kamiko? Yes, this is first three. This is winners, right? Yeah. This, um, that 50 meter change for quick style being able to dash cancel was very huge for Shoto style for the way comic to play them. Because once they get the hit, they will spin up to 100 to 150 meters just to keep on passing out with that damage. Yes, that's that's the um the price you pay when doing that setup. 
But what's cool about it too is when you do it, you do gain meter back. Yeah, it's because the grab just it had that little bite, you can get that meter back. It's almost, it's not exactly fun, but you get a good percent of the back. Exactly. And the damage too, you gotta understand, it does a lot of damage. We are using human wisdom to create a god. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. I'm Judas. Shalom, Judas. Are you ready to do hard things? Yes. We will see.